Hi, my name is Richard Bilderbeek. I'm going to talk about the UpMax Intro to Bianca course. Um, how to get there and I give an overview of it. So let's see if we can find this thing using Google. Bianca UpMax. Let's do UpMax first. Bianca Intro course. Because it's easy to find, it should be easy to find. Here we have it. Bianca Intro 2024. Uh, how to register and here is the course material. So we see that we are at the Bianca workshop, that's nice, and there are an intro, an intermediate workshop. I'll be talking about the intro course to the Bianca workshop. So let's take a look what it's about, and, uh, and I will just scroll down first, because the schedule is not most interesting. More interesting is like the overview of the courses. Um, because you can do a lot of things on Bianca, which is a sensitive data computer cluster. And there are some dependencies, and I'll just give you an idea how this looks like, and what we do in the basic course, and what we do in the intermediate course, and what is not in the course. So today at the basic course, we will log into the console, we will log in to Bianca using the remote desktop environment. Um, we'll be using some command line uh, basic things. Um, we can manage files using the command line interface. We can transfer files using a bit of the command line. When we, with those basic command line commands, we are going to create a bash script uh, so it can run. And we, uh, that script, we we'll use it to create a job. So if we want to start a complex calculation, we use a bash script to do that. And we need the command line to, to start that. The command line is also used to use modules or to log in on, a, on a, the modules are needed for, for jobs. And the command line is used to uh, use an interactive node uh, where you can run big things interactively. And, the, and these things will all be gone through today. Things that's more in the advanced course is how to use the command line to more extent, to, to, to do more things with it, um, installing and using custom software. Um, we don't show you how to monitor jobs today, but in the advanced course we do it. If you see if, you, um, if your jobs, like your complex calculation, uh, waste resources by asking too much memory or too much disk space, uh, and how to observe that. And we're not showing how to use an IDE, which is an integrated development environment. For example, a programming program like RStudio or Visual Studio Code. That's also in the intermediate use of Bianca course, which is not today. We won't show you how to transfer files using a GUI, using a graphical user interface. And we're not going to show you how to create a bash script using a graphical user interface. Instead, today we will show you the basic use of Bianca and how to get things going. In the intermediate course, we show you how to use Bianca in a wiser way, in a better way, in a more efficient way. And we won't show you uh, these things that we don't think is the most important thing for your work. So take a look through the rest of the document. There is a share document for questions. It's available here. We will answer them during the course. Um, of course, you can just talk to the teachers. Um, yeah, you, you create a, in this share document, you need to create a new line for questions and people will, uh, many people can ask questions there. And me and my colleagues, we will answer those questions when we are we, when we have the time to do that because sometimes we're already answering other questions so the schedule of today is here so my name is Richel I have this just discussed the introduction after this I'll be showing you how to log in to Bianca in multiple ways I'll talk about the command line which is very pivotal in using Bianca after the break there will be modules how to use pre-installed stuff Pavlin will talk after lunch. Pavlin will talk about transferring files to and from Bianca. Bjorn will show you how to use the compute nodes and Slurm. 
uh, and also how to use the interactive notes, how to use notes interactively, or better said, how to use the compute notes interactively. Lars will discuss the legal aspects of using sensitive data. And after this we'll round off with a summary and anonymous evaluation. And we have a, if you have questions left, we'll be there for you to answer those questions. But you can also enjoy the rest of your day yourself. Alright, so this is the introduction to Bianca uh, for the day one. I wish you a very good day. Bye!